What's up guys? So on this channel, I've already shown my third national title. I've also shown my second national title matches. The one I haven't shown is the oldest one. It's the first one. It's the one that means the most to me and it's the one that I really want to get out to you guys. Man, when I look back at this video, there's so many things I would have fixed. There were so many little mistakes that I made, whether that was with hand fighting, whether that was with pacing, whether that was with not opening up as much as I should have. There's a lot of things to learn and this is still me winning my first national title. Uh, I hold this one close and near and dear to my heart because the first one is, just as anyone would say, there's never gonna be anything like it, right? There's never gonna be anything like the first time you do something big, the first time you achieve your goal. No, this is not the NCAA Division I National Championships or the Olympic National Championship, but those weren't my goals. My goals were to become an NAIA National Champ. My goals were to become a college graduate for the first time in my family. My goals were to become a wrestler that I never thought I could be. Uh, if you guys don't know, I'm from Kentucky, a state that is not known for wrestling, a state that never had a national champ at any level, whether that was club, JUCO, NAI, D3, D2, or D1. So my goal was to become the first ever in Kentucky and to, to do something that, you know, no one ever thought I could do, you know? I never won a state championship in high school. I didn't win a Fargo title. I didn't want to flow nationals or NH. SCA title. I didn't do any of that. In any of that. So I take this win very personally. Although it's not the highest level national championship win, um, I get that, and I, I don't claim that it is. But it's something I am super proud of, and something that I'll cherish for the rest of my life. And hopefully, I can share with you guys, you know, these feelings, and hopefully, I can share with you guys techniques and stuff that led me there. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna talk a little bit less now. Here's my first national championship match against Corey Walker uh, from Oklahoma City University. This was a great match, a fun match, um, and I. I'm excited for you guys to watch it.
That was it guys, that was my match. Again, not the craziest match, two takedowns, a single leg, and then a, I don't even know what to call it. I got a head in the hole, he tried to peek out, and then I kind of whipped him over to his back. Not really sure what to call that takedown, it kind of just happened a bit. Um, he was trying to score late, it kind of got a little funky there, I put him on his back. Uh, some things that I would correct for myself, like I said, uh, my hand fighting could have just been better. I was a little bit too much on the outside. I could have stayed on the inside and got on his head. Uh, I also noticed that in this match, his left leg was really heavy. And if I would have opened up a little bit more, I could have shot that single leg quite a bit. And I believe scored. Uh, but like I said, I, I don't regret it. There was lots of mistakes made. This was 2019. Brandon Reed, I was either 19 or 20 years old when I won my first national title. I believe I was 19 uh, in this match. Uh, and so I was learning a lot, I'm 25 now, and I'm still growing in my wrestling every day, even though I'm done wrestling. I, I teach wrestling daily uh, on Instagram, on YouTube. I teach privates, I do seminars, etc., cetera, et cetera. Uh, So there's lots of things that I would have changed in this match, but regardless, I'm proud. This is a match that I cherish, and this is one that you guys had asked to see. I did the, my first national title review last on purpose uh, just because I thought it would be the one that started the whole thing. It started the Brandon Reed 3X that you guys see on Instagram, the Mr. 3X stuff because uh, it, it, it starts with 1X. Um, anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed the match. Uh, I know I did. Of course, it wasn't the most entertaining match, but that's what wrestling is, you know. Uh, it's hand fighting, it's moving, it's faking, it's being strategic, and it's learning how to win when it's not easy and it's learning how to win when you can't just beat the guy 15 to zero. Uh, that's when you know you got a good wrestler, a guy who can win the tight matches. With that being said guys, if you guys would like to learn uh, something from me, my Dominate the Hand Fight instructional is out. You can find it like up here I believe or it might be up here, I don't really know. YouTube's confusing sometimes, it's somewhere up here. Or you can find the rest of my instructionals at brandonreadthrex.com slash store. Um, regardless, I got a couple instructionals out that I think could be super helpful for you guys. Hand fighting is where I would start personally. But if not, no problem. I appreciate you guys supporting the channel. See you later.